Hi, in this video I will show you how to design such a part in FreeCAD, which is a completely free CAD CAM system. That is, it is a system in which we can create our own 3D models, for example for 3D printing and we can also prepare machining programs for CNC milling machines. And FreeCAD can be used completely free for both hobbyist and commercial applications. We can install FreeCAD on any number of computers and we can use it freely. And now I will start a new project and show you how to create this type of part. And you can treat this video more as curiosity because here we will create the whole part based on circles. The only geometry we will use will be a circle and first I'm going to create circles lying on the x-axis. Ok. Now on the other side. And circles lying on the y-axis. Ok. Now I'll move on to dimensioning these circles. Here 20 millimeters. Here 40, here 8, ok, and this circle 15. Now I select this circle and this circle and select the equality constraint and I do the same with these circles. Then I place these circles symmetrically about the y axis and let's add the distance between the centers of these circles. Ok, now I choose this dimension and here we add the distance from the center of this circle to the origin of the coordinate system. Ok, and we already have a preliminary outline and now I will create two circles. Ok. And now select this circle and this circle and select the tangency constraint and this circle and this circle and here also the tangency constraint. However, here it will be free to change it. We will fix that in a moment. I do the same with these circles. Ok. Here we will create a third circle in a moment, but I'll trim these two circles at first. And now to fix it somehow, I select this point and this point and I choose a horizontal constraint so that these two points lie on the same line. And this is also just visible on the model. Of course a technical drawing would make things much easier, but the purpose of this lesson is simply to show you some functions and some possibilities of FreeCAD. And I do the same with this arc as well. And now I will create a third circle. Ok, and so I select this circle and this circle and I select the tangency constraint. Here by the fact that I put the center of the circle on the y axis, at this point also there is a tangency. And I'm going to constrain this circle to this point and here I select constrain a point onto the object and we will trim geometry. And here we have something like this. Now we will remove these edges, ok, and based on such a sketch we can add an extrusion. Click close and we add an extrusion. And here let's add an extrusion symmetrically from the plane for 10 millimeters, ok. And now we are going to create these elements. And we select this wall, we will create a new sketch and here we will use the reference geometry. We select these geometries as reference geometries and we draw the circles that will be linked with these geometries. That is the center of the circle at this point and the second point of the circle coinciding with this circle. 
then the second circle linked with this geometry and we do the same thing at this point. Ok, this is where I missed the constraint, in a moment I will add this constraint and here similarly. Ok, here this geometry is constrained, this one is not, so I select this circle and this circle and I select the equality constraint and the whole sketch is constrained and we can close the sketch. Let's add an extrusion for example for 5 mm. Ok, and so we have these elements on one side and now let's create these elements on the other side and for that we will use the mirror operation. Select the mirror operation and here we indicate what we want to mirror or we can select the last operation because we will mirror the last operation. We select the mirror feature and we indicate the plane of the mirror and this plane will be the XY plane. Ok, and with this we created such a part. Here you can take this more as a curiosity, as a demonstration of some freak out functions such as just constraints and geometry trimming. And here as you can see we have a little more edges. And this is because the refine property is set to false. If we set it to true, then the visibility of some edges has been turned off and now this model looks better. And just as I mentioned, you can treat it as an exercise as learning more FreeCAD features. And if FreeCAD interests you and you would like to learn more about working with FreeCAD, then you can check out the other videos on this channel. Or you can also take my FreeCAD for beginners training, which you can find a link to in the description of this video. By the way of this example, I would like to show you one more curiosity. When it comes to adding extrusion, here we added extrusions based on the sketch, but in FreeCAD we also can add an extrusions based on a wall. Now if I select this wall, then I can add an extrusion and another part of the model will be created. And this kind of thing can be useful in some cases, because like here we have created a mirror of this extrusion, and for example we want to enlarge just one element, then we can easily do just that. Ok, and here as you can also see, additional lines are created, which looks like these elements are separate elements, but here the refine parameter has been set to false, if we change it to true, these lines will no longer be visible. Such a thing we can also do in this case. If I add an extrusion here, we can also add an extrusion based on such a wall. And here again, the refine parameter has been switched to false, we can change this parameter to true. And if you want this refine parameter to be set to true all the time, then as I showed in the other videos, go to the edit menu, preferences, here select part, part design and check these two options. So that this parameter is automatically set to true based on the operations performed on the sketch and on the logical operations. I uncheck this option and if you have this option checked, this parameter will be automatically set to true and these joining lines will not be visible. That's all for today, thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.